Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2015, and I, I said 2014 when I fucked up a second ago, but it's not. We're in 2015. It actually is the year 2015 now. 2-1-2-0-1-5. The Roman Empire has been long dead. It is not the year to get confused with those two numbers specifically. Yeah, I apologize. Oh. It's just a rare opportunity that we get to celebrate being in the year that it is and playing that year. Yeah, yeah. It's very rare. I wonder when 2016 is coming out. <laughs> the year or the game? Probably June. <laughs> the year. I the actually, year. Yeah. The year in June. Yeah, I, I, I wonder when 2016 is coming out. Yeah, 2015 sucks so far. Let's just get to 2016 already. Yeah, I'm it should on. be like leap years. You just kind of like randomly throw in a new year sometimes. That's a good idea. Yeah. Completely arbitrary. Oh, we woke up today. Sorry, it's uh, it's 2017 now. No, yeah. we just skipped 16. They can do it like daylight savings time. You know, like like hey, we just skipped a year. You're one year closer to retirement. You're welcome. But then next year you go back two years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's actually the rolling twenties. Oh no, welcome I can't back, handle everybody. this time stuff, man. <laughs> Uh, prohibition is in full swing. <laughs> it's a good, uh, you know, 1920s announcer voice. Thank you. I try. Yeah, that's my uh, that's my goal at all times. I think is to be the 1920s announcer man. It's a good guy to be, you know. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I agree. He drinks a lot, though. Yeah. The, uh, it's on a good is, public face, but is, is it one singular he? I guess I'll go with this. Oh, the the announcer voice, like he just is one dude, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. He's at the he, race he just track. did all the, yeah, the rice track. He's at rice the track? rice track, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, Chinese Dota. Wow. What? No, that's called ricing. Farming is called wow. ricing in Chinese Dota. Oh my. Oh God. man. Chinese Sorry, Chinese. It was a term popularized by a Chinese Dota caster. You guys can all suck my balls. Man. That's okay. Oh, why'd you kill that? I don't, know, I don't want to put out a blister beetle. Isn't that enough? Yeah, it's true. enough. Enough stuff. Enough rough stuff. I wish I had enough stuff. Enough, enough rough stuff, stuff? What really is enough? That's a good question. I don't think the world knows. The world is not enough. Yeah, that's true. Whoa. Um, it's blowing my mind, man. Fuck it. What's a goblin bush? What are you kicking? Again? I just killed that. Yeah, I got another one. Oh, ah, you kick kicked that. it. Mm -hmm. You kicked it right in the butt. It has been thoroughly Not kicked. That. You only attacked with one of them. Yeah, he should attack with the other one. You should hit me with it. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh. <laughs> nerd. Yeah, what a nerd. If, if Austin blocked that, then you both would have lost the creature. I ain't gonna do that. Dude, we should have gone to AGDQ with Magic 2015. We could have speed run, speed <laughs> ran a match, and then done like 40 minutes of bullshit at the end just for no reason. That would actually be hilarious, and we'd get kicked out of AGDQ forever. Forever? Yeah, that's pretty. I, I think it would severe. be forever. For did all you, evers? Yeah. Did you did you actually know that diamonds are forever? Uh... They're also the girl's best friend, and also Superman can make them from coal. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of They're extremely concept. rare. Unsure about all. What is this card? Also, you put them in the bla in the bottom of the lightsaber. You get a white beam, I think. Mm -hmm. White also beam. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Where are we? Here. Uh, started from the bottom. Now the whole team fucking here. Wait, where is here? It's there. Not mm -hmm. the bottom. This is all the information we've been given. Okay, I understand that probably. I return to favor. Yeah, that's fair. What are you, Tusk now? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Skywrath Mage. Okay, that was unnecessary, though, actually. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if we actually ever mentioned this when it was going on for the most part, but did you guys, like, buy anything for the Steam Winter Sale? I didn't. No. Well, you know, true. I bought South Park. That was it. I bought a couple things, I think, but I don't remember what they were, so... Yeah, I'm not sure I bought anything. The deals this year were so shitty. 
There's... They're mostly just like, here's a bunch of AAA games for 25% off that you can generally get for less than that anytime you want. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe there's very specific ones that were very good, but I guess I owned all of those already, so I didn't have to worry about it. The South Park was pretty good, wasn't that? It was like 10 bucks for South Park? Yeah, it was a good deal. That's why I've been... I, I told myself I was going to buy South Park once it was reasonably priced. Yeah. South Pork. It's a good game, actually. I, I honestly thought that was a pretty good game. I've heard it was going to... I haven't heard any bad things about it besides the fact that it's a little short. Other than that. Yeah. I think it's I. I? It's I. You get to... Whoa. Yep. It's like a reference to, like, this 90s... Don't do that. No, Nick, for fuck's sake, man. Like, the, again, the only thing that can deal with the fucking thing on the board right now. And now we You could have killed Austin's creature, though. No. Yeah, but of spite, course not. Though. Yeah. What's uh, spite? Uh, I think it's like That's a that MOBA, but you spelled it wrong. Yeah. Mm. Good old spite. So, speaking of a drink that rhymes with spite... Um, I went to uh, Five Guys earlier today to enjoy a nice Five Guys burger and fries. And fries. And fries. Uh, and I went to their soda machine, and I was greeted by... Were there only four guys? There were only four. It was really dumb. Wow. Um, no. <laughs> there was a soda machine, and it had a little... It was a touch screen. You could touch it. You could you, boop, touch oh, it, and you picked okay. the drink. And I was, I was like, this is new to me. I don't understand what's happening. It only had one nozzle, too, so it was like a... Crazy. Did you get one of those Coke Your Way machines that lets you combine drinks? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I had the option. I mean, I probably could have combined them. I, I don't know, man. But, but I, all I know is that I went into Sprite, and I was like, I'm going to have some Sprite. Went and I went into Sprite, Sprite, and there were multiple choices for Sprite. And I don't mean Diet Sprite. The Diet Sprite was a whole other option. Like It was like Orange Sprite, Cherry Sprite, Vanilla Sprite. It was weird. I don't know if that... Wait a second. That. Vanilla and there, Sprite? Yeah, that one was weird. I, I strayed from that one. I was I was not feeling it. Um, Could you but, go into Vanilla Sprite and customize it further? I don't know. Maybe. Like exchange the, the Sprite part with some other drink? <laughs> maybe. I don't know. It was probably it was Vanilla Coke. I don't know. But anyway, they had Peach Sprite, which blew my mind away into the next dimension uh, because I love peaches. And the Peach like Sprite... Peaches, was real good. It's exactly how it sounds. It would taste, mm -hmm. and uh, I I was very happy. Then I was surprised. I didn't. I've never seen anything like that before. That sounds interesting. I would happy and surprised. You know, I I wouldn't trust a machine that like has all the. I assume it was all at a one little nozzle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. See, because like then you get some mixing that is not enjoyable. I, I just remember this one experience I had where I went to get a cup of water from a McDonald's. And then, you know, they have the little thing out of the same nozzle of, like, Coke or whatever for the water. And I put it in without even noticing. And then, like, my water was, like, a severely watered-down Coke. And it was <laughs> disgusting. It was it was really gross. But these are all kind of, you know, acidic Coke flavors or, like, soda flavors. Yeah, so I don't think true. it's going to be as bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> whatever. I think when you're drinking, like, any variety of sugar drink, I don't think having a slightly tinged version of another one is going to really affect it that much. Yeah. Although, I see your point. I mean, if there could be other nozzles, that would be even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. It, it, I didn't notice any... I, I feel like they would have probably thought of that, and it, since it's a very seemingly new machine. Um, so I'm assuming it has some kind of countermeasure to prevent that. Um, you think I'm beyond blocking that shit, huh? Oh wow! You blocked that. You blocked it so hard. Are you wild card this round, Nick? No, I did wild card. I think I last. Swear game. to God, if you play goddamn Inferno Titan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? Well, I mean, Nick's gonna kill it next turn because you know that's what he does. But <laughs> the second I, I actually when that turn began, I counted your land. I was like, he has five land. He's gonna play a land in Inferno Titan. That's what's gonna happen here because that always happens. <laughs> Yeah. When, when a magic game starts, it is just a countdown until Rob puts out Inferno Titan. Yeah. <laughs> That's how magic works. Well, and then I'm at 11 fucking health because I'm against two people. 11 For fucking some health. reason, I don't know why. It's not like Austin is super weak or something. Well, my card, I, I couldn't use But Nick wants to Nick. kill me. Well, Wait, yeah. Nick, Enters I, the I battlefield or attacks. It deals three damage divided any way you choose. <laughs> I don't understand why you guys Fuck have that. such a... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fine, I guess. 
whatever, guys. Rob, that card is banned? It's I don't know really you... broken. It is literally not broken at all. It is... I'm actually at the point now where I don't think that card is in any way broken. You guys are little crybabies. Because that card is absolutely not broken in any way, shape, or form. Completely broken. I don't have any land, guys. Yeah. Well, I don't have any health, so... That's fine, Rob. You're, you're cool. Alright. Why would you do that? Because I don't like the card that you have, and I know you won't block this. What? <laughs> I know you won't block this. What if I did? Then I would be surprised. You're not going to block it. Your spite is not strong enough to block it. Just okay. <laughs> you're not gonna block. I know you're not gonna block it. <laughs> uh, you can't fool me. I'm. I, there's another reason I wanted to really do it, and I could get away with it. But there's another reason that I'm not gonna, and it's not because I just don't want to lose it. Oh, all right. Playing the in that game. We lost. Why? Kill Rob. Yeah. <laughs> I'm clearly in the most advantaged position right oh, now. Oh shit, that card is broken. Let's, let's make sure that everybody <laughs> uses all of their kill cards against every single one of my 1-1 one, one goblin creatures. Let's do that. Alright, I like Rob's plan. Let's do what he just said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Grave digger. Oh wait, oh no. I don't like that card. Good thing that's just creatures and not free. Wait a tick. I Death remember. Touch. I remember you. In the mountains. Shout out to those people who get that joke. In the mountains. There's like three of them. The mountains? Yeah, in the mountains. There are actually three, like, three a mountains? lot more than three mountains, I'd say. <laughs> Very several more mountains yeah, than three. There's definitely... I, I've seen probably more than three in my life, actually. I've walked okay. on more than you three. You guys are crazy. Yeah. I lost Nick, the game of Dota. I mean, if there are three, Nick lives on one of them. So. Right, so where are the other two? I know yeah. Mount Everest is a thing because people yeah. keep dying on that yeah. for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why people do that. Oh, by the way. Mount Fuji. Yeah, that's Mount, the other one because the, the pictures and all the an uh, animes. Mount Fujimoto. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Wait, you don't know why they die on Mount Everest? Because it's real cold there. No, I yeah. know that, but I don't know why people fucking do it. Because they're they need why to do people something? skydive? Why do people? Is, I don't know, scuba dive in really dangerous places. <laughs> they gotta prove that they're the toughest known to man and they're stronger than nature, obviously. Yeah. So strong. Oh my god. Ooh, so strong. We lost. Ooh, so strong. I haven't drawn any land. It makes me very sad. Oh, what was all that about just now? Oh, that was your cards you picked, okay. What about what? Nothing. Uh oh. Somebody's cheeky. Cheeky wiggy. I'm dead. I don't care. You're fine. You just took out his good card. Yeah. Sorry, I still have death touch. It's true. I'm just gonna go out with a bang. Or with bang. a fireball. I'm gonna go out get him bang. Bang. bang you biggy diggy. That's an order line joke, isn't it? I, I mean, it's a Kid Rock joke, really, when he's saying it. Well, any Kid Rock joke is going to be an Odin Lion joke, let's be honest. That's an excellent point. <clears throat> I think eventually he'll assimilate all of the cultural references in the entire world if he makes enough Isaac episodes. You're probably right. Yee. Yee. I don't get it. No, you're going to be surprised. I guess I will. Yeah. This the surprise is I'm fucking stupid and I forgot about oh. things. <laughs> uh, for, I don't know why my brain does this during magic, but sometimes I'll just like really focus on one card, and uh, that card was your one one death touch. And for some reason, I thought that was the only card that could feasibly block that, um, which is not true, uh, mm -hmm. turns out. And so I lost my creature, and you did not lose anything. So. And before Rob has another Inferno Titan. <laughs> I'm only allowed to have one, but he's broken. Don't worry. Well, yeah, he's in the graveyard. He'll, he'll he come back. Broken. He can't come back, actually. He will come back. Oh, that one's back. Yeah. They always do. Why is that one back? Why back not? Again. Well, Shady's I mean, back. hot soup. Something's hot, and it's made of soup. Hot soup? It's your butt. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Ooh. 
Hot butt soup. Hot butt soup. Dude, that's nasty. <laughs> I know. That does sound so nice, bad. Yeah. That's the nastiest hot butt soup I've ever heard of in my life. Yeah, not the guy with, you know, 27 health. Don't worry about don't worry about him. Just let's go uh 2v1 on Rob. That's fine. What's Austin Do doing? He attacked game. me last time. Yeah. That's, that's cool. How many freaking lands do I lost? Oh, dude, a land. I won. Wait, he won. Why? He won. Yeah. Oh, he's got the angel thing. I got Bane Slayer Angel. He slays Bane. So, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say this is where, Nick, you draw flesh to dust on the next turn, right? I mean, ideally. I can't guarantee it. I can guarantee it. I'm the guy from that... Uh, what is it? What does he sell? Suits? Uh, he sells suits. He, he likes the way you look. Yeah. I, he, he knows all it. about it. it. Yeah. He definitely guarantees it. You're going to love the way that you look at me. I love you. <laughs> that's the commercial. All right, that's, that's, that's a big point. You're going to love the way you look at me. I love you. <laughs> Drops the mic, walks right. off stage. A, a creepy message for the Burlington Coat Factory, I think. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> Oh, disaster. I'm in this deep. I mean, if I stop attacking Rob, I'm only going to hurt myself right now. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See you later. It's all right. I'll just, you know. I, I could just... If you I get just, anything strong, you're obviously going to target me with it, not Austin. So I've I made just, my own bed uh, now. I could just spectate the next match of Magic if you guys want. It's <laughs> a little bit easier. Oh, that wouldn't be fun at all. All your, everyone's kill cards at all times. No, I don't want to do friends. that. It was fun. But Rob, no. Wait, now I have to kill Rob, Nick. You yeah, were... Goodbye. No, no, see, I wasn't going to attack you because I thought he was going to kill you and use the flyer, and I was like, cool, I can attack Nick then. But now I have to attack Rob to get the damage safely. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm sorry, Rob. No, I mean, it's fine. Like I said, I could just spectate the next one if you guys want. <laughs> so it'd be a little bit easier than you guys get to keep your kill cards. Look, look, man. I had this really plain rice, and I'm really glad that you flavored it for me. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I liked that joke. I appreciated it. It was good. It likes the way you look. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy all that health you just took from me for some reason. <laughs> yeah. From your soul. Enjoy losing Nick since you've decided to just lay everything on me inexplicably again. The Nick's got Third this. Third game in a row. Nick has a plan, man. A man plan. Wait. I have a man plan. <laughs> I have a man plan. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we just going to awkwardly end every phrase with I love you now? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really <laughs> creepy. We should That'd just say that great. as the end of the magic episodes. <laughs> that, that we should we be like great. the way you look. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna like the way I, that you look at me. I love you. <laughs> what did you? What are you doing? You, oh, you. <laughs> it was a spite move. More. That than was it. a spite move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, you got two turns. Can you do yeah, thirty-two you damage think. in two turns? I don't. Know. Do you like the way you look? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Scud. Scud to you two. Scud. Scud indeed. Scudy. Scudy duty. Nick, you gotta make a move. You gotta show me your moves. Hmm. Show me your moves. Show you. Show me your moves. I mean, you know, all I need to do is get a kill card, and then we're back at this again. I actually, no. Just In died. Two turns. No? No, you didn't die. Never mind. My math is bad. Bad yeah, math. I, you, have, you have one turn after this one. Wait, you are aware I can block this? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Does it have he has trample? Life no, no, no. Blood. Yeah, but it's oh. only five damage. Um, yeah, so you have one more turn after this. Oh, sorry. I You were arguing against Nick. I was arguing against Nick, too. So we were both arguing. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you, but I'm arguing. Never mind. Yeah, fair enough.
<laughs> Nick, I'm gonna be honest. It's not looking good. Yeah. I mean, I did block that damage, so I probably shouldn't take five damage as yeah. a result of blocking it. Uh, much. Only there was a way for someone to like deal with those things. Oh my God, Rob! <laughs> <laughs> that is man. It's been the past like three episodes. If only if you had like you know three of your kill cards that you used on my goblins. Or my cards that dealt with it. Oh no. GG. Disaster. I wish one of these times you just accidentally block my death touch. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days. It's gotta happen. I mean, if you have enough and I can't see them. Oh yeah, that's actually a really good idea. I should obfuscate a death touch in a pile of one ones and then attack with all of them. <laughs> I just wanted and to you'll move. accidentally block all of them. Wow. What? Player. Yeah, sorry, I'm BMing right now. I just wanted to do that. What what the <laughs> fuck, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, no, I wanna get to the uh flaming Nintendo portion of the magic. Oh, okay, we'll get there, we'll get there. I mean I Well just we haven't established some kind of causal link yet between the magic game and Nintendo, that's but that's a good point, yeah. I'm sure we're working at it. Oh, no, no, cancel, stop it. I wanted to play this card. Well, he has dead weight. Yeah, I do. I get oh, that. okay, so you knew that was a... I thought you were actually taking a risk by doing that. No, no, I had backup. I just That was actually just a spite move. Not a spite move, yeah. but a more a deep but a dick. bragging move. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to look all the cards. Well, up. if I would have just drawn a kill card, that still could have been bad for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, No, I can chain these to where I have like a million of them, so it's... Yeah. I mean, it's pretty safe. GG. Oh no, because I was gonna block it with the non-flyer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, this is for Rob, I guess. Oh, you did draw one. <laughs> <laughs> Disaster. I actually want Nick to win out of spite for Nick now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand how you get to that point. <laughs> You want me to win out of spite. I think there's a third one in here. I have to scroll through like a million fucking cards to find it. <laughs> Give me another flesh to dust. Give me <laughs> I actually have two in my deck. All right, I lost. Good game. Is there... Well, I mean, I can just draw a guaranteed kill card then. What the hell is this game? You could have <laughs> I just get to go in my deck and pick things that I like. Are you serious? You actually fucking live now! What the fuck? That's hilarious. Uh, and he's got all seven oh lives my too. god, the fucking hubris is so real! <laughs> it hurts! <laughs> oh Sometimes no! Love don't feel like it should. It makes you uh hurt so good. Okay, well, that was my safety card that is now no longer safe. That was like not even like a kill card wouldn't have been as good as that. No, yeah, that one gave me fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I thought I had three of those, so I, I thought I was safe for. Uh, oh my god, you actually might fucking beat me. That actually, would be hilarious. I have three healthy of thirty. That's true. Let's be I mean, it's, it's very unlikely, but now this game's gonna last way longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> I know, right? I was just trying to be cute, and now I fucking it's now I look like a dick. You had me trapped in the rat maze, and I peeked over the top of the maze, and I got a look at the world around and saw the scientist that is you. Wow, that was beautiful, Nick. I know. I'm turned on. <laughs> Wait, that's not. Yeah, I got a boner. I'm gonna love the way you look. I love you. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the shitty thing is I can't actually attack you right now unless I get lucky and draw, like, a flyer. That's not a flyer. Well, that'll give me a flyer. Gives me more options, I guess. There's options. There's options. I can't even... Yeah, you have... <laughs> the fact that you drew that specific <laughs> card. Oh, I love this. Oh. This is so funny. No. This is so funny. This is a fucking disaster. If you're watching this from Rob's perspective, you should see my hand right now. <laughs> you have another kill card? Oh, who knows what it is. It could be anything if you really think about it. He saved it, so it's probably pretty good. Oh my god, okay. This is really good now, actually. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to start hitting me for two? Yeah, this is what you're going to do.
If anything, this will absorb your kill card. Because you're going to have to kill the angel that's about to spawn. Don't you have to gain four life? Oh, the rhino does that. Double dick, yeah. Double dicks. Double dicks. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All I got to do is draw a radiant fountain and then I get another one. <laughs> Plenty of those in my deck. You're gonna love the way I look. I love You're gonna you. love the way I love you. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> right, this king game. Really though. Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> now oh man, one, yeah. pressure's on again. Can I draw another I kill card? You can get out of this one. Can I draw one more? I have another full turn though. That's true. Well, I mean. It's going to be every turn now, unless you kill one of these, and you can't kill one. Why is it an every turn? This is It's a double-double. This is four damage, so I get an angel. Yeah. What? He's going to get an angel off of this, because he's going to get... I know he's going to get an angel, but I, that's why I said I have to draw a kill card, but you can't hit me with the angel for another full turn after that. Yeah, I'm going to get an angel every turn now. Yeah. That's what I don't understand. Because I'm going I'm to attack you every turn with these two rhinos. So it's gonna give me an angel every turn. Mm, I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> did you did you draw a kill card? Not exactly. Oh, is it another tribute to hunger? Oh, it's dead weight. <laughs> it still saves you though. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> what the prolongation of this game is that a word? I don't know. No. Sounds like a word, so it may as well be. Might as well put it in the dictionary starting now. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I'm Google it. I'm gonna go, I'm fucking Google it. That's not a word. I can tell you right now, it is not a word. Prolongation is not a word. Like Marion Webster Online, prolongation. Marion yeah. Robster. The definite prolongation of the ceasefire, as an example. Get wrecked, Rob. Yeah, Get. It's not a word. Get wrecked. Mate. I probably shouldn't attack you, I'm thinking. No. It's like a bad idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can survive one more turn because if he attacks you with two of the rhinos, then you can block with the lifelink and the drudge skeleton. Mm -hmm. But he wouldn't probably attack me with both things. Wouldn't. So I'm gonna say I'm extremely impressed with how long this took. I'm not. Oh. You could have just finished this a long time I ago. But I, I, I sincerely thought you wouldn't draw like three kill cards in a row. <laughs> And then a life that killed my creature and gave you enough life to live even longer. Wait, what? Oh, you win. Jeez, sorry. GG. Yay, that was fun. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I wanted to be like this. I mean, you did. That's why you killed everything on the board. I wanted to be one extra turn. Yeah, it was doubly fun for me. <laughs> You know, I, I got through the top layer of the rice, and I'm glad that you said that, because the bottom layer didn't get sufficient seasoning, yeah, so... That's important. <laughs> Why do I... Oh, crusty on the bottom. Yeah, it's not, not that bad when the rice is a little crusty. You bake it. Yeah. yeah do the, you ever do, like, the chicken with the uh, chicken stock in a bed of rice, and then it gets, like, that little bit of a yellow seasoning crustiness to it? Yeah, yeah, you could do that, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. No, you should cover the blood. Game. GG. GG. I bet the whole fucking chat hates me now. Well. Fucking chat. No, yeah, I said I put fucking on the wrong word there. I'm sorry. I meant to say, I bet the whole chat fucking hates me now. So now I just anger the chat even more by calling them the fucking chat. <laughs> they're not uh, even the chat, the comment section, so I don't so, know where the... That's not so bad. <laughs> I mean, if they're, if they're all fucking each other, they're probably having a fine time. Yeah. They're at least distracted. They're probably not worried about our, you know, crunchy rice and us saying we love them. That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> I think I just wrecked those hammer bros. Holy shit. Oh, would you like to explain to the audience what you're talking about? I'm watching about? Uh, AGDQ on my 46-inch monitor on the uh, oh. on the left of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For those of you who don't watch AGDQ, you should. It's a speedrunning marathon, and donations go to uh, Prevent Cancer Foundation, and you should go donate. Good. And for those of you who don't understand what 46 inches represents, it's roughly one half size the girth of my penis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just the girth? Like, not yeah. the length. Wow. Yeah, it's, it, they call it the bulldozer. <laughs> That's fair. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> this will be your mission, commenters. Find the most awkward place to say I love you to someone who absolutely would never receive that information properly and go for it. Oh, just oh, interrupt pretty... someone, too, if you have to, yeah, like, at I'm work. trying to think of really awkward situations now where that would be really funny. Yeah, with your boss, like, telling you what you have to do for the next week. <laughs> Alright, sounds good, man. I love you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a Tim and Eric's getting there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you have to say it slightly timidly, though, to get the effect that goes there with it. Oh, yeah, because you're afraid of what they're going to say in reply right, to right, letting right. this information out. That's what gives it that air, uh, that serious air to it that makes it worth saying. Yeah. You got to give just the right amount of time in between the silence, too, for for them to, like, try and ponder their next thought, but then get their next thought instantly interrupted by I love you. If you That's can also just divert your gaze right after you say it, that would be <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely the best way to do it, I'd say. That is perfect. Just let them think on it for a while, you know? <laughs> Just look to the side or down, and, like, have your hands in your pockets also, if you don't mind. All right, and here's uh, your change, $2.50. Thank you. I love you. No, just right as they're saying the $2, right there, I love you. <laughs> don't let them finish. And then drive away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming we're in the drive-thru at the restaurant. Oh, I was actually in the... Well, the reason I was in the actual restaurant was because the restaurant that I went to today for lunch, I was in. So, yeah. That well, was... I'm imagining you're getting change from the person at the drive-thru and you haven't gotten your food yet, so you just <laughs> drive away in the middle of them giving you the change. <laughs> you drop the bomb and you walk away. And then they're left to ponder that for the rest of the day. Break the wrist and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, apparently I'm reading uh, magic comments. Donkey Kong was apparently abused by Mario, and that's why Donkey Kong fucked with Mario. It's apparently in the original game booklet. He was abused? Yeah, apparently. Dang. Mario abused him. I never even thought about it this way, but that actually takes it to a whole new height. I never thought about animal cruelty as a classification for the type of violence that Mario commits to his adversaries. Doesn't, but uh, they are animals. Isn't there a sequel to the Super Mario Brothers that stars Donkey Kong's like son? And he, yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey yeah, Kong, and Mario. Well, Donkey Kong Country is, is the son. Like the Donkey no, Donkey Kong, Kong Jr. is what you're talking about. Yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. It's, it's an NES game, and it's uh, the same game as Super Mario, uh, or the original oh, right, arcade okay. Mario. Yeah, but uh, Mario, I think, steals Donkey Kong, and then he forces his son to go through horrible puzzles in order to... Yeah. Uh, He's like in a save. cage at the end of every level or something like that, yeah. yeah. yeah that's pretty fucked up, man. Yeah. Bug Nintendo! Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, uh... Yeah, no, the, uh... Well, also in, in Donkey Kong Country, you know, Cranky Kong was the original donkey from the original Donkey Kong from the Mario weight. game. Well, yeah, I, think, I guess you're right, but uh, and then Donkey Kong is his, I guess his son. He's pretty old for to be a dad, I guess. So we're on the third generation of donkey animals now. Yeah, it's did possible. He, did he is just his friend, right, or is he his brother? What I thought uh, it was it little was, brother. It it might be. I don't know. Uh, is it a Kong family? Like Diddy? Yeah. D yeah. Well, Dixie, there there is the there Dixie. is the the DK e. crew. <laughs> DK Donkey Kong is back. Yeah. There's also all those dudes that show up when they do kart racing, but like aren't in the rest of the series. I think. You know, like an alligator involved or something, or a bird. Oh, Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, there's you know King K. Rule. He was in, in, from Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, I guess he on. is in yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, he's the big bad guy. I'm in, demonstrating. In I have no knowledge of Donkey Kong Country beyond the first five levels or so because I'm oh, terrible at it. Did you ever play Donkey Kong 64? Yeah, I didn't like that either. It's like ah. really bad to control. Oh, that, oh, that game was so much fun. But I love it, that game too. Yeah. Oh, dude, the DK rap. Shout out to uh, Grant Kirkhope for writing that bad boy. DK, Donkey Kong. And then dude, uh, dude, the dude, final dude. boss fight in, in Donkey Kong 64, spoilers, uh, is you in a boxing match with King K. Rule. Yeah, it's awesome. really long too. It is. It's like a very cool. difficult boss fight. He's the leader of a bunch of the bunch. You know is him it, well. 
He's like he's a shout fine. out to Super yeah. Punch Out or something. To kick some tail, he's coconut gun, and fire in burst. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. Do, 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 do. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's got, got a coconut, coconut gun, What bullshit man. information is that? Oh, he's got a coconut <laughs> gun, man. He's gonna... If you ever get hit by a coconut, it doesn't feel good. No. All you need to do is drop a coconut on somebody's head. You don't need to shoot it at them. That's it, it, Dude, blame Funky Kong. He's the one who gives it to him. He's encouraging. Funky Kong, isn't he the one that, like, turns, like, 80 feet tall? Funky Kong? No, that's Lanky Kong. Funky Kong's the radical no, guy has got surfboard. Lanky, Lanky's got the grape shooter. What about Stanky? Yeah, Kong? Linky also Stanky. gets real tall. Stanky oh no, you're talking about the guy that gets uh, real big and tall. That's uh... we, they don't talk about Stanky Kong, Nick, because you know he was <laughs> he was in jail at 18. He was hanging around with the wrong crowd. He's, 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 kind, of the, he's kind of the black sheep of the family. Um, is, what is? He had to go there. Is it like Kunga Kong or what is his name? Kunga Kong. I don't think it's that, but it's something similar. DK <laughs> <laughs> Crew, hold on. Okay. Uh, Please tell me, Crew spelled with a K. I'm pretty sure you're right. Uh, oh, Tiny Kong. No, Chunky Kong. Oh, yeah, Chunky. Tiny is the one that gets big, probably. Uh, no, Tiny, no, Tiny is the one that gets small. Chunky Kong is the one. That I could tell that that's true because of his name. <laughs> I like how Chunky Kong, at one point in the DK rap, is just wearing a disco outfit, but then he never wears it again. Apparently, <laughs> just... there's a Kong called Ninja Kong, and he's the ruler of the Durian Kingdom. Ew. The 12th I... Kingdom. It's the smelliest fruit known to man, isn't it? I feel like you're making that up. Is it? No, I'm reading on the on the Donkey Kong wiki because there has to be. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's universe. let's find out. Oh, he's from uh, Donkey Jungle Kong Beat. Jungle Beat. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's oh, Wrinkly Kong is. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Wrinkly Kong, Cranky Kong's now deceased wife, and yeah. Donkey Kong's grandmother. That's fucked up. Where no, she's called? the ghost in, De in Donkey Kong 64. She helps you out. Remember you open the door and she's like, "Ooh!" and oh, she's a ghost. I don't even actually remember that at all. Yeah, for sure, man. They chose that moment to give us the insight of Donkey Kong's life after the grandmother had died, but before the grandfather had died. We could have just had them all together. Wait, it's so a very if specific choice. Cranky Kong was the original Donkey Kong, right? And he's the grandfather of of the current Donkey Kong. Then was Donkey Kong Jr. the father of the current Donkey Kong? In which case, whatever happened to Donkey Kong Jr.? I think he became Stanky Kong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. By that estimation, he would be the current Donkey Kong, wouldn't he? Well, no, Donkey Kong Jr. slash baby Donkey Kong is implied to be the current Donkey Kong. Well, or, his yeah. or his father, right? That's what it says there. Yeah, so that's the thing. I mean, he, he wait, so there's another generation. There, there's got to be. A, well, there's a generation in between. Oh Just wait, Frankie Diddy Kong. Kong. Then there's a missing wife. Mm -hmm. Diddy Kong is his nephew. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, and he, apparently Candy Kong is is his girlfriend. We should do this, but with the Prince of All Cosmos and all of his family. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. This familial situation is getting a little bit weird now that I'm reading it because I think. Dixie and Diddy, they're boyfriend and girlfriend, but they're they're technically cousins. Like they're they're like a twice removed cousin, but they're still cousins. I thought twice is when it doesn't. Wait, how matter. are they? How are they? How though? Well, okay, so here, Diddy Kong is Donkey Kong's nephew, right? Dixie Kong is Tiny Kong's older sister, Kitty and Chunky Kong's cousin, Diddy Kong's girlfriend. So Who's Kitty? Kitty Kong is Chunky Kong's little brother. As well as Dixie and Tiny Kong's cousin, right? So they're they're related. Look, man, there's not that many monkeys on the island, all right? They gotta, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> they, they up, gotta man. make do. There's some inbreeding <laughs> in the fucking Donkey Kong world, apparently. Oh that's, man, that's that's hard to get through. That's kind of fucked up. Okay, Wait, Lank, so, Kitty Kong, Kong is, is from DKC three, right? Uh, I think two. No, two. Wait, you're two, Dixie? two is Diddy Kong's quest. Yeah, and I think Dixie's in it. Is, is, isn't it? Yeah, but no, that, I'm talking about Kitty. Kitty is in the third oh. one with Dixie. Is she? I, I don't. I don't actually even recognize Kitty Kong. Let's see. He's the guy in like the little the baby. Uh, he's got like a little blue, and he, he like, drags it around. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in Donkey Kong Country Three. Yeah. Yeah. Dixie Kong's double trouble. All right. I don't think I ever played Donkey Kong Country Three. It's great. It's fucking hard though.
Yeah. Why did the family stop aging after Donkey Kong Country came out? Yeah, I don't question. know, Nick. Maybe maybe they started aging like just fine in the olden days, and then they just stopped. Also, what is is Mario a fucking time lord, or like was he like five yes. when he killed Donkey Kong? No, it's like in Zelda. There's like a hundred Mario's, all of different generations, <laughs> all doing things in parallel dimensions. I guess so. That's that's too much for me, man. I can't handle that. Sometimes he's a baby. Sometimes he's like an old man. I I really do love that there has to be a wiki for every universe, even if there's, like, no lore involved at all. <laughs> like, there's a guy, the Swanky Kong, direct relation unknown, possibly a cousin of some sort to Donkey Kong. Who gives a shit? Hmm. <laughs> Whoever wrote it does. I guess. Oh, man, apparently the Mankey Kongs used to be members of the oh Kong family, but were kicked out of the family for being too mischievous. Oh, yeah. I actually give, like, negative 55 shits about any of this stuff, but I just think it's entertaining hearing you talk about it because it's like, who even thought that there would be any story to any of this? Oh, I forgot there's a Swanky Kong. Yeah, Swanky. He's the one that I'm talking about. There's no. There's oh, no yeah, no, he's the one who runs, like, the uh, circus. Or not the circus. Yeah, is it the circus? He's a, he runs, like, a bonus game or something in Donkey Kong Country. Oh, okay, yeah. He looks just like DK. Long lost brother? Maybe. I mean, he's a Kong, so he has to be related. He's in the Kong family. That's true. I wonder who, at this point, who is the lead player in the Mario franchise? Because you're making a strong case for Donkey Kong, actually, being a formational and very important one. Obviously, Mario's the face of it all. Right. But, of course, we've talked about the Koopa situation, not to mention all of the princesses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, everybody in there is kind of a lead player in their own way, and I'm not really sure who really is at the front of this whole thing. Didn't we like eventually say that that was Yoshi? That it was him. That... Oh yeah, it might be Yoshi. Can we say it's Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I mean, I he's mean, the fastest out of all of them. He is pretty fast. The uh, I actually watched the Sonic Adventure Two battle speed run on that on AGTQ. It was yesterday. It's actually really interesting. Pretty cool. Just throwing that out there. I mean, fuck, you just don't respond or add any uh, conversation. I don't Sorry, know. I'm just reading a bunch of things here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just okay. thinking about this Twitter image that somebody sent me that had like giant pictures of Sonic being pregnant. <laughs> Why is everybody pregnant in all the damn cartoons all the time? That's a good question. They should show them banging. <laughs> I'm sure they do that too. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. Minky. Minky are monkey-like enemies that first appeared in Donkey Kong Country 3. Oh my god, there's some, like, weird caste system on Banana Island or wherever the fuck he lives. <laughs> <laughs> the Kong family, also known as the Kong clan, with a K. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, that's only two, man, all right? It's the okay. Kong clan. It's all right. It's only two, all right? I really think when you've established yourself as a franchise that exclusively likes to use K's for their crazy value, calling yourself the clan of anything, <laughs> don't do it. It's going to happen by accident. The Cool Kong Clan. That's yeah. that's a, that, that's their full name, actually. It's just, oh. you know, it's a K in there. He's the leader of the bunch. <laughs> you know him well. Headed by K. Rule. And he's here to kick some tails. He's finally back to kick. Shut up. You don't know the words. I don't. I haven't listened to it. I don't, I don't, I don't what really cool know. things has K. Rule really done other than take away people's bananas, I guess? He hasn't. He's ruled, okay? He He's King K. Rule. Well, actually, no. In the opening scene in Donkey Kong 64, like, King K. Rule is a big fucking dickhole. Like, he... I think he, like, murders one of his, one of his henchmen. Like, a, a, and, like, he has, like, this little pet, like, one of those rattle traps or whatever they're called. And then like, and then he like. Wait, what's a rattle trap? It's the you know, it's like it's like the it's like the reptile enemies, except they're like, they're they're small and they're like. Uh, they just I love like the noise that they you make. Yeah. They make little clap noises. Mm -hmm. I just thought you were referring to an actual thing, so I was like, did I miss what traps are rattle traps? No, Maybe. I have no idea. I don't know what they're actually called. What are, what are they called? Oh man! I, I mean, they had this credit sequence that says all the enemy names, right? Oh, uh, maybe it's. Like, Hold on, I think it might be a Chomps Jr. Related to the Mario Chomps. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no. no. Those are the fish. Wait, hold on. Uh, hogwash Claptrap. 
I think it's a clap trap. Hold on. Oh, great. Oh, here yeah. we fucking go. Yeah, it's a clap I'm trap. I'm dancing, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's a clap trap, but it's with a K, so there, it's all right. Yep, good old. I guess they would be the ones suing 2K, if anything. Yeah, it's they true. did do it first, yeah. Good old clap traps. So yeah, you're telling me what vile thing he did. I guess he fed someone to his clap trap or something. Yeah, yeah, he was like, mur he's like murdering his henchmen and stuff, and then, uh, and then also he like traps all members of the Kong clan, I guess, uh, <laughs> in like these tiny little jail cells, and they look very sad. The like King K rules a big butthole. Oh, yeah. It sucks being in jail. I'd yeah. hate for that to happen. Yeah, I don't know what the Kong clan ever did to him. Well, they did hoard all the damn bananas, as far as I'm aware. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, why are they hoarding all those bananas? I mean, I get that they're monkeys and they like bananas, well, but... Donkey Kong's the ruler. He gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. I guess that's true. Although that doesn't really make any sense either, because if it's a, if it's like a hierarchical, uh, like, patriarchal, uh, like, royalty, sovereignty, then wouldn't Cranky Kong still be king, technically? <laughs> no, he's too old. He was... His throne was, was besieged. Was he, was he, he retired. Deposed? He was deposed by the current Donkey Kong? Because that's kind of fucked up. Look, I don't play CK2, you can't use words like that, right? Maybe he's cranky because Donkey Kong dis disposed him. <laughs> disposed of him. <laughs> it, it, well, basically, I mean, it, clearly he disposed of his mother, Wrinkly Kong. Also, why the fuck did they call her Wrinkly Kong? I'm sure she wasn't that wrinkly when she was young. All right, all right. You're, you're doing too much, man. You're doing too much. I can't handle all it's this Donkey Kong lore, up, all right? It's pretty fucked up. So yeah. we're just going to go to the lore of every Nintendo game, every Magic <laughs> episode now. Well, Mario, we're doing he wasn't Donkey cool Kong. with Diddy banging his cousin. And yeah. Donkey Kong's like, you know what, man? Fuck you. I'm going to steal your throne now. That's true. And your banana. It's banana horde. <laughs> He's the ruler of the banana horde. Don't they go bad if you store them like that? I would think so, yeah. Look, man, don't freaking talk bad about his or anyone's bananas, all right? Mm. I've never seen a not ripe banana in the Donkey Kong universe. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the right amount of time that I didn't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, yeah, here, look, look. Donkey Kong's banana horde is a cave located near Donkey Kong's home where he stores all of his bananas. King K. Rule has continuously tried to steal the bananas for unknown reasons. No one knows. Unknown. No one knows why he wants to steal the bananas. Why is he a reptile? What do they need bananas for? They don't need bananas. Well, I yeah. thought the bananas are also a form of currency. That's true, they are as well. So they're currency and they're food, and they also don't go bad. But what unknown reason would he steal it for? Mm. Maybe he just likes freaking bananas. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Bananas actually... Well, I guess if you have a hundred bananas, you have an extra life. So that must be... You know what? That's how Oh, eat immortality. Yep, yeah, exactly. So that's... So that's... Oh, and he must be just, like, feeding Cranky Kong just the amount of bananas that he needs to keep him alive. Just to, He's like he's like Gus from Breaking Bad, just, mm. like, keeping Cranky alive just to fuck with him. He Spoiler. killed his wife to steal her soul so he could stay alive for a while longer, and Donkey's too strong and, and he can't steal his soul. Yeah. So he's just going to fade away. Man, that would be a great game if you could see Cranky Kong trying to, trying to undo the, the harm that the current Donkey Kong has done. Well, you can play as Cranky Kong in the new Donkey Kong. Can you really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Does well, so what of... strides has the new one made in terms of the lore? Yeah. Uh, well, let's see. That, well, King K. Rool doesn't seem to exist anymore. I don't, he that's might just fine. be dead. I, I think know. he's dead, yeah, because he has yeah, He might just appeared. be dead. Oh, um, but, God. yeah, the enemies are just like... The first one, the, enemy, the main enemy is like a giant <laughs> lava. Dead, so he died. <laughs> 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 well, he also got knocked the fuck out at the end of Donkey Kong 64. Uh, like break his jaw or something so he couldn't eat the bananas anymore? Probably, I don't know. Um, but uh, the first boss or uh, uh, the first game was uh, a giant lava tiki that spawns in the volcano. And then the boss of the second game is some like penguin or arctic polar bear army that comes from the sea and freezes the island. Polar bears live in the sea now. Well, no, they sailed from polar bear land. Oh. P P polar bearlandia. So just like arbitrary things. Yeah, just some random dudes. Just like, I'm just going to fuck your island up, man. All right. It's almost like they didn't consider the lore at all when they made these games. Come <laughs> on, Nintendo. There, all right. So apparently there was some <laughs> game that I was not aware of that existed on the Wii called Donkey Kong Barrel Blast, in which yeah. the Donkey Kong crew 
and I suppose his arch-rivals fasten barrels to themselves and fly. Yeah, you can do that. The right. Wii is a mysterious place, man. The magic of motion controls allows anything to be possible. That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, guys, we should do Kirby next time. That's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, God. That, that, that one's just... Uh... I never really played Kirby, if I'm being honest. It's not that fun. I'm I sorry. I wasn't that into it. Oh, it's... this is the time when I get to be the fanboy and say I like something, and you get to say it's bad. We've all done different roles <laughs> <holes> now. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say it's bad, personally. But I, no, I'm not into it. Well, it you just seems... did, in fairness. No, I said it's not that good. Mm. Or did yeah, I say it's not that good? The opposite fun? of be it being not good doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. It could be neutral. That's true. It just it seems very one dimensional and very. I don't know. It, it... I mean, it's a story about a pink circle. <laughs> That's a good so, point. I agree with the one dimensional thing. The thing that I like is that he steals everybody's powers. That it's is, like a... That's the only cool part about it. It's like a so. more dynamic version of Mega Man because you don't have to play through the whole level to get to the boss powers. You just get them whenever you want. Yeah. But you also lose them a lot too, which sucks. I wish you could just keep them all forever. Yeah, that'd be cool. It's like a big open world Kirby game and then you just go around finding powers and it just turns into a fucking Metroidvania. So basically, I just made a Metroidvania out of Kirby. There you go. Mm. Here you go, Nintendo. Uh, Free uh, offering. <laughs> silver plate. Right for you. Okay, until Nintendo makes Pokemon Snap 2, they are not ever taking free play It's almost ideas. as if they made the Wii U to make Pokemon Snap It's too. almost as if they made the Wii U just to spite everyone and <laughs> act like they don't think that that's not the best fucking idea in the world. Did I miss the cue on this moment of outrage? Because you both seem like you had it spring-loaded and ready okay, for action. Okay, did you ever play Pokemon Snap as the yes, first Yes, and I agree with you, and we've already talked about this on the show. It's oh. just, I just thought it was funny that you uh, both knew the same okay. I, thought, I thought you didn't understand why we were that way. I no. mean, it, it's clearly just... The, the, con her. the entire console seems to be designed entirely for Pokemon Snap 2. Yeah. Uh, yes. I mean, I, w I wouldn't... Uh, like it's... Imagine like an open world Pokemon Snap 2. <laughs> we have imagined that. Oh. <laughs> I think that's what we said last time we talked about this. Did we really? I think so. That's, that's like so cool. much more Pokemon. Oh, and you can get expansions for your camera in the form of little amiibo statues that you could put on the corner of the viewfinder. So if you want to get like 45 millimeter depth of field effects, <laughs> just get the little mini camera effect there. Oh, Pop it on. Great. Oh? Only seven ninety nine. You know how much like Pokemon Snap would sell? It's not even that hard to make. It's a. It's, it's like not. a rail shooter. Without having to shoot anything. All you have to do is make animations and models. Like, that's it. Oh, you could get a little apple. You could get a little at apple statue and put it on the corner of your camera. <laughs> and then you could throw apples at Pikachu. Oh, man, that'd be great. <laughs> you get bug spray. I don't, know, I don't think Nick likes the Amiibo system. I don't know. <laughs> you could get a little bug spray statuette. It's like... Eleven ninety nine. Just pop it down. We're, really. we're there. Fuck Nintendo. We made it, guys. We fucking did it. Yeah. Oh, we're so good at this, man. <laughs> oh, and man. time. All right. Let's see. Next, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, yeah. Next Nintendo. Did you ever feel bad, bad, though, when you would throw all that poison at those animals? Yeah. Yeah, I, I never understood exactly what. It's called a pester ball. Like, it's meant to just fuck with them. Like, that's poison. The, it basically, it's a yeah. Cloud of poison. Like, not every animal that you're throwing these at is a coughing, which can obviously withstand poison. It excretes poison. Yeah. Well, like, you, you get this little I'm mouse thing. Damn picture, all right? They got a fucking pose, or they're getting the ball, all right? That's the way it goes. That's true. I mean, how else is Professor Oak supposed to write his textbook without pictures? Oh? They could even have, like, voice acting for Professor Oak. How cool would that be? So he could tell you how much of a shit photographer you are, and you get to hear him say it. <laughs> I hope they keep the exact same engine for cr uh, critiquing the photos, too. So no matter what you do, Professor Zoke's like, you're a fucking piece of shit. Yes. Never show me this again. Oh, it's not centered. Sorry. No more points for the rest of the fucking photo. Fuck you. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and dock point up the next photo for how bad this photo is, actually. <laughs> they should actually... You know what? Get rid of Professor Oak. Fuck that. Make it Pokemon Snap, but Gordon Ramsay is the guy who gets the yes! That would be... And you have to cook a beef Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while you're snapping the photos on the... No level, photography like, at all. No, you just first, go to a kitchen, <laughs> and you cook a beef Wellington, and a risotto, and a few scallops. You, you put it on the corner of the Wii U controller, and, and that allows yeah, right, you to... Exactly. You put a Gordon Ramsay on the uh, Amiibo on your controller, and then <laughs> Professor Oak becomes Gordon Ramsay. It just says, it's raw! <laughs> I'm eating this!
<laughs> it's frozen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would, uh, yeah, that'd be good. I'd play that game. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> they should just put Gordon Ramsay as the announcer in every Nintendo game, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I want Gordon Ramsay. I everything. would play Smash more if he was in it. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be great. I want to watch Gordon Ramsay announce football games. I don't even care if he knows how football <laughs> works. I just want to watch. He's it. got so many TV shows. If you probably find the right region, you could probably find whatever you're looking for. <laughs> He's got like eleven concurrent shows in the UK, five or six in the US. Who knows what other amounts of shows he's got in other countries? That's a good point. He's discovered it yet. <laughs> Very entertaining man. So he works like more than anyone. Truly. Oh yeah, no, he's also like really sincere and actually like actually a really cool nice dude. Guy, yeah. I have to believe he's got some sort of neurosis about not working because he works obsessively. I don't know. I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, but he's a. Uh, I mean, just look, watch him. Like he fucking like, even when he's just on anything, cooking something, he's always doing something constantly. Just constantly. I know. Nobody this. could have the energy that he can expend at a given day. It's really crazy. In one day, he's probably expended more energy than me in five years. That's <laughs> <laughs> probably true. Wait, I mean, he's probably just recorded another series since we started talking about him. He's yeah. probably recording one right now. I wouldn't doubt it at all. Yeah. He, he could give a Roomba a fucking run for his money as far as videos produced. That's a good point, yeah. Dang. <laughs> Oh, so, like 30 did you guys know that 50% of Nigerians are under 14 years old? Yes, I knew that. That's crazy. I didn't know that. That's a really random fact, Rob. Where'd you get that one from? As I'm looking at Reddit. Oh, a surprise. Yeah. Nintendo facts. Yeah, Nintendo. well, you know, it's good to have uh, you know, some things to talk about. Like 50% of Nigerians being under 14 years old. That's pretty crazy. We're You're all the old people. I love you. <laughs> 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 oh, that's weird. That is weird. It's the perfect amount of weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. We should make an we should make an I love you app that analyzes people speaking in dynamic <laughs> real time and finds the exact time when you should say I love you to be the most off. Yeah, see, you just need to make I love you be your sub noise. <laughs> oh, yeah, it would interrupt me. But you need to record like a hundred different I love yous in that different tones. And uh -huh. so it picks a random one while you're doing it. And also so, cuts my mic for like three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> so you have one that's like really seducive in there. That's just like the worst seductive. one. Seducive? Seducive. Seductive. <laughs> Did you really just say seducive? <laughs> Is that a word that you just maybe said? He was thinking of maybe he was thinking of caduceus or whatever. The <laughs> snake with the... Yeah, it's just Broad. a caduceus, no big deal. Look, man, I, like the way I pick what words to say are not... I, I don't have a word bank. I just... I, I I actually will... That's why I mess up so many words, is because I don't think of the words. I think of the word and then immediately add whatever... Well, you've got, like, a randomizer for the prefix yeah. and the suffix. <laughs> Basically. You get the base word down, and then you go from there, and the randomizer takes over. It's like doing that thing in Mario 3 where you get the middle of the mushroom, and then you get, like, a star on the bottom. <laughs> Basically, that's a really good metaphor, actually. Jeez, because there's not that many options, you know. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, that that's why I will often have words that don't make any sense. But sometimes I'll have words like the earlier one that Rob was like, "That's not a word," but it ended up totally being a word. It's not a fucking word. It was a word. What was Sorry, it? Completely I don't, a word. I don't care that the dictionary website wants to say it's a word because they have to sell new editions of the dictionary every year that has more words in it than it uh, than it's supposed to. So they just make shit up. You're just uh, mad at him. Totally bad. Truthiness is a word now. Truthiness? Yeah. Yeah. Stephen Colbert just made up a word and it became a word. So, you know, anything's yeah. possible. You know what else is in the dictionary? Grrrl. G R R L. It means a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. I'm not kidding. Is, There's no vowels in the, in the word. Yet? There's no vowels in that word. There's none. Not a one. It's G R R L. It's a waste of time to put vowels in words anymore, Rob. Yeah, it's Rob. 2015. Nobody has time for that shit. That's get with true. the picture. All right, all right. We get with the picture. Get the picture. Get with the get picture. With the picture. <laughs> Is that a new word too? You should Google that. Okay, you're awful. I took the vowels out of it as a joke, and it included <laughs> didn't get stick with the at picture. all. <laughs> picture. Picture. Wait, have you registered for that domain picture? 
Because that's probably the next big social media wow, site. Wow, you're actually not kidding. That that would be. Victor. We've got Grinder and Tumblr. <laughs> Victor. Victor. Why haven't Org, you made the Presbyterian Victor? Church of Tom's River? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not. It's a church. <laughs> it's a Presbyterian church. Buy it out. Tom's River. They don't need that shit. Give them a real website that actually makes sense. <laughs> They're sitting hey, on a fucking gold mine. They could fucking pay Jesus to get gold-plated fingernails if he wants. <laughs> what is a what, what does a church need a website for anyway? Like, hey, we're gonna talk about God next week. Like, what what are they gonna update me on at the church? We they always have to have those really cheeky signs they put on the lawn. So it's probably like one of those. <laughs> You're probably right. I'm a you know that are like kind of passive aggressive that are like, if you're a sinner, you're fucked. But we're gonna say it in a funny way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. that wins over a lot of converts, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh, I have, uh, this guy what posted multiple things, but it's like the uh, expectation versus reality, and it's one of those frozen pizzas that, like, has, like, it looks really delicious in the, uh, in the picture, and it has, like, a bunch of, like, like, herbs, and it's got, like, a bunch of pepperoni on it, and they even have some, like, chopped pepperoni in the background, like, yeah, we made this fresh. And then, it, and then the picture is of it out of the box, and there's literally, like, one singular little sad pepperoni slice <laughs> at the top of the pizza and nothing else. <laughs> and there's like, a, there's, like, a big clump of fucking cheese surrounded by sauce just on the side there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't realize that the movie Frozen had uh, Italian eateries. It angle, did, like, yeah, you know, it does. It's like, the, what can you buy at the Cheesecake Factory? Can someone tell me? Because, Probably cheesecake. Well, that's what I would think. But then there's that guy Jamarcus Russell, the football player, who like got went broke because he was spending like <laughs> 50, yeah, but he was spending like fifty thousand dollars a day at the cheesecake. What, what the fuck are you buying for fifty thousand dollars a day at the cheese? What can you buy? At he the, was tipping he, some girl he likes, probably. Fifty, yeah. Hey, baby, I, I know this is a you know a ten dollar cheesecake, but here's a check for fifty thousand fucking dollars <laughs> every day for the next several days since i make several million dollars a year maybe he was laundering money maybe there was more to the story oh man that's that's too deep for me it's possible because that's obviously a really extravagant and stupid amount of money to spend at a cheesecake factory you're right there's not a good explanation which begs the question is there an explanation that isn't a good explanation but is the explanation i, I just gotta look up what a cheesecake factory is because you know what like what did you say? like didn't maybe, mathis work there did he did he work at the cheesecake Factory? i thought we talked about this at the last time we all were all together hmm. you might be right was a, long, a long time ago you know what? i'm looking at pictures of this cheesecake factory it looks like it's a place that just sells fucking cheesecakes that's what it looks like. Well, yeah. The Cheesecake Factory is a restaurant. Oh, yeah, restaurant, a restaurant, bakery, bar. Oh, the bar part. Oh, there it is. There you go. Too, if too much sketch. If you're like a fucking millionaire, why are you fucking drinking at the Cheesecake Factory? He like lived. He's in, lonely. I guess. He wants some cheesecake with his beer. Or I guess with his Chardonnay. He wants some cheese with that wine. I wonder what, what the he, most expensive beer is that exists. Uh, I don't know if beer can really get that expensive. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, there's not really a limit well, that way. You, I think you'd have to at least you'd have to cut out. I think the uh, like fundraiser beers, right? Because like, oh no, yeah. I mean, yeah. intrinsic value like, for yeah. you know itself. All right, Google. Let's find most expensive dog. No beer. Is it a German it's beer? The ten of the world's most expensive beers. Is it a? Oh, it's actually not a fucking. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, slideshow. Sapporo Space Barley is one hundred and ten dollars a six pack. Space barley. Oh, they must have grew it in. Space. They harvested the fucking moon barley from. <laughs> outer space. It is a zero gravity beer. Yep. You know, in 2006, Japanese and Russian scientists said how well barley could grow in space. They rocketed barley seeds to the International Space Station, planted them above the Zvezda service module. After spending five months in orbit, the fourth generation of barley was brought back to Earth, where Japanese brewer Sapporo fermented it into the world's first space beer. Six-pack cost $110. Not bad, considering it was imported from the cosmos. You know, I might spend $110 for the novelty of having space beer. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not that much. I was. You know, it's going to taste exactly the same. No, I know, but it's the it's the novelty of the thought of it, you know. Crown okay. Ambassador Reserve. Oh my God, that looks fucking bomb as hell. 
It's an Australian uh, beer aged in French oak barrels. For 12 months. Is that a big deal? I don't know. <laughs> it's fancy shit. Sounds crazy, though. <laughs> you just said it with like such reverence, like, oh my god, 12 months. <laughs> oh, wait, these are getting more and more expensive as we go down. Why is right, it? Let's go to the bottom of the list. Yeah, why is 10 the most expensive one? Should be... That's so stupid. You're stupid. They want to lead you down. Wait. All right. Nail really? Brewing's Antarctic Nail Ale is nail $800 ale. to $1,815 for 500 nail witches. So this is like one bottle is 800 bucks. So uh, this pale ale is made for animals. Concocted what? by Nail Brewing in Perth, Australia, 100% profits. Oh, it's a, okay. The Sea Shepherds landed in a helicopter on, on an Arctic uh, so it's iceberg. Like a said it's beer. made for animals. I'm like, what? This yeah. Is yeah, I was confused. It's, it's a charity beer. They yeah. dug up some ice, melted it in Tasmania, and flew it to Perth for brewing. It's really Only unnecessary. 30 bottles were made. So it's just a, like a fundraiser beer. You can melt ice anywhere there's fire. <laughs> you know that? That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> One of the cheapest beer, but in China. Paps Blue Ribbon 1844. Really? PBR is expensive now? I thought it was the cheapest. No, okay, so in the USA, PBR is one of the cheapest beers you can buy, but in China, it is the Mercedes Benz of beer. Oh my god. Oh it's like god. it's like dead in Russia. <laughs> hey man, they don't give out that blue ribbon light. Oh, hold on. That's because it's not the same blue collar swill. PBR yeah. 1844 <laughs> is made from German caramel malts. Ooh. Is Whoa. aged in uncharred American whiskey barrels and even comes in a fancy glass bottle. It is not sold outside of China. Wait, they give glass bottles for their beer now? I guess so. <laughs> Actually, that's I've had, hold the damn phone. <laughs> I've had a PBR forty and uh, or like a like a forty of PBR, and I, I got to tell you, PBR tastes considerably worse out of glass. It is kind of gross. But it's so really adds so lot. weird that a PBR is. That's so weird. That they have this extremely fancy beer that's only sold in China. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't either, man. Whoa! A hundred and ten proof beer? Whoa. That's disgusting. Where, where do you fit all that proof? Where is that at? It's uh, number eight. Brew Dog's The End of History. Oh, my God. Blonde it's like beer moonshine. It's the third strongest beer. Only They're stronger than that. Only 12 bottles exist, and each is made out of taxidermied roadkill, seven, <laughs> seven weasels or stoats, God. four squirrels, and one hare. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What did you just say to me? <laughs> Why would you... Oh, no, they have a picture of the bottle. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's awful. It's a fucking so squirrel amazing. wrapped around a bottle, and the end of the bottle comes out of its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest book. That's terrible, but it's hilarious. To say How much that. is that? Seven hundred and sixty-five dollars per For three hundred and thirty milliliters. Yep. I mean, we could like pool our resources and buy it. <laughs> I, don't I would want really it. want it. Yeah. A hundred. You just have like a nasty ass broken up squirrel bottle. <laughs> I had Earthquake once, which is like a I think it's like a, like a fourteen percent alcohol beer, and it is. It tastes like you drank someone's vomit that was mixed with Tabasco sauce, mixed with feces, mixed with another person's vomit. That's what it tastes like. It's disgusting. I got I got a can of it once being like, oh, well, that seems like a lot of bang from a buck. 15% for like two bucks. Yeah, I'll buy that. I took a sip and I was like, never again. Never again. So you'd rather have like the non-alcoholic beer over that? I actually would. I would. I would have no duels over that fucking earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> duels <nonsense>. rules. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> there's a Samuel Adams Utopia beer, which is America's most expensive beer and is only released every two years. Hmm. Whoa! Exclusive. Ooh. Each yeah. batch is aged in sherry, brandy, cognac, bourbon, and Scotch casks for up to for 18, eighteen years. Yeah, it has a touch of maple syrup, and it's banned in 13 states because of uh, old ABV laws. laws. ABV. It's 27%. Alcohol and boner vagina laws? Alcohol by volume. Oh, okay. I thought it was alcohol and boner vagina laws. <laughs> Is New York one of those states? I want that. Yeah, we have one of those alcohol and boner vagina laws in here. I would try, like, maple syrup beer. Sounds neat. I actually, when I was in Minnesota, I had, um, I had this thing that was a... Um, java porter and 
Or, I'm sorry. Oh, you carry made that. Vanilla Java Porter. No, it is straight up the thing out of the carry show. It tastes like... It tastes like vanilla coffee beer. It, it, it actually wasn't that bad. It was pretty good. I yeah. want that now. That actually sounds fine. Yeah, it's not, you know, because I, I don't I don't like sweet drinks, and uh, and and that and that was not sweet at all. It just it tastes it, it tastes like beer and vanilla coffee, but it wasn't it wasn't sweet. It was pretty good. Did it have caffeine added to it? Because I hate that whole upper downer thing. I think that's kind of shitty. I don't know if it did actually. Let me let me Google it. Vanilla Java Porter. It might, it might have. Um, Atwater Vanilla Java Porter. It's like the exact type of thing that would give me heart palpitations, and I think I was gonna die. <laughs> like any of those, like Four Loco energy drink plus alcohol. It's like such a bad idea. Oh God, Four Loco! <laughs> My childhood after the age of twenty-one. <laughs> 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 and like uh fucking oh what was the other one there's there's like juice the j-o-o-s-e and then oh there was it was spark. balls do you remember spark oh balls is disgusting because that one that one was it tastes like, like balls <laughs> yeah no it's straight like well it was marketed as like yeah this tastes like uh like cocaine back trip and it did not that i know what that tastes like but it did I don't and even know that what that means. Gross. Well, like so, like when you do cocaine, I've heard that <laughs> there that like when you when you sort it through your nose, uh, like back drip goes in the back of your throat, and you can taste it on Whoa. your tongue. Yeah. Um, uh, Allegedly. Flavor everybody Allegedly, wants. Allegedly, yeah. But but so but it, it it and and it's like why would you market that except clearly to children? You are clearly marketing that to children. Who were like, yeah, I'm so cool. I get cocaine beer. Actually, I don't even know if it was alcoholic. I think it was just like an energy drink. That was God, that might. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Yeah. <laughs> but then there's Sparks. You remember Sparks? Sparks. I remember were... Bubba. Bubba Sparks. Bubba Sparks. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Actually, I would totally rocking have. Everywhere. If they if they ever sold booty sweat and like bust the nut bars, <laughs> I would totally buy them. <laughs> that's from GTA, right? No, that's from uh, Tropic Thunder. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Like, oh, Gotta man. get that booty slip. <laughs> it's so hot here in this Vietnam jungle. Thank God I brought along a can of booty sweat. And this bust a nut bar, too. <laughs> I want some booty Tropic sweat. Tropic Thunder is actually one of the funniest movies. It there. really is fucking brilliant. It's like a really, really good film yeah, on I mean, top of it. No Obama. tower heist, but it's not bad. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, it is. It is no tower heist, for sure. Oh wait, here's here's a here's a beer for two hundred seventy-five dollars per three hundred thirty uh, milliliters. Skorskbrows, Skorskbrock, Bach, fifty-seven. Oh. <laughs> Right. Scorch uh, Browse Scorch Bok Bok. Scorch Scorch Bok Bok. All right. So apparently, according to Master Brewer George Skushner, uh, Costanza. Right. A higher proof <laughs> beer, a higher proof beer than this would violate Germany's 500 year old beer purity law. Wow. Uh, 115 proof. It is smoky. How and could it nutty. taste like beer? Apparently it is smoky and nutty and hints of raisins. Oh. You give it a you give it a lick, it tastes just like raisins. Is it a winky? I think so. Yeah, but th that's I mean that's tr like how can a 115 proof beer taste like be it doesn't it can't. It can't taste like beer. It'll just it taste tastes like, like liquor. Vodka or moonshine or yeah, something. Like, it probably tastes like moonshine. Ugh, moonshine's disgusting. Not that I've ever tried it because it's illegal, but man, that shit is gross. That that proof is like way above anything I've ever had. I think. Yeah, uh, moonshine. No, no. What you just said. What was one hundred and fifteen? One hundred fifteen proof. You never had like a Bacardi one fifty one? Oh, uh, maybe once. One fifty one rum, pineapple juice, and something 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 something. I also had absinthe gone. once. Yeah, but is you probably super high proof. Uh, I don't think it is actually, but it, it if you had absinthe that was made in America, then it doesn't actually come with wormwood in it, which is the hallucinogenic. Otherwise, it was from another country. I think it was from like Finland or some crazy thing. Oh, well, if, it, if it's from there, then it's illegal in the United States, and it has wormwood in it. 
And the Wormwood is actually a hallucinogenic. It's uh, it's LSA, which is the cousin to LSD. And um, so it, it is it is hallucinogenic alcohol, but it's it's not it's not. You, they it, sell. It didn't do anything. It was just liquor. <laughs> you might have then. You honestly might have had like a like an American version because the american they sell absinthe all right let's in go with that then yeah well because they sell absinthe in america and it just tastes like licorice which is disgusting so oh, i thought it actually tasted kind of good but it was a bunch of years ago too so i don't know yeah who knows yeah, it's, it's it's uh yeah i don't like licorice at all licorice is disgusting to me personally but i, don't I love know. you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's weird. All right, I think it's good. I think we're yeah, good. Let's yeah, just wrap so. up the episode. Yeah, yeah, all right. Talked about Donkey Kong's family lineage and fucking expensive <laughs> beer. Yeah. Who knows? With this, we all here love all. We all beer. lost here. That's we true. did. We lost. We fucking lost. All right. Mostly Rob though. Any yeah, salty? I, I did pretty much lose, and I'm. I'm sorry, salty. Rob. I love you. That's. <laughs> that's okay. But actually, in your comments, I just saw it. Lu- Luan Lee goes, gonna predict how the magic game does before watching. Nick will screw Rob again, and Rob will be out first. Nick will try to justify his decision only to be the next one out. Green will probably miscalculate the math, and Austin will get really lucky at the end and win it all. Now let's watch and see. <laughs> I hope that that was not, like, a, a joke. And somebody, yeah, somebody called him on and was like, sure, you predicted that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that he actually did predict it, though. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Yeah. You know, we should make that a regular thing that we read comments from the last one and talk about them because I think that would increase the amount of comments that people leave and also make everybody have a better time. I, I yeah, wouldn't mind that at it. all, actually. Yeah, that, that would be that'd be pretty fun. For the so there you go. Just the watching, you know, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. First, first time we're gonna make that a thing. You mm-hmm. know, for real. Like, just leave some comments and we'll probably talk about them then. Yeah, unless it's like fart in my mouth. Actually, no, I'd probably talk about that, and then we could work it out. I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably fart in your mouth. I don't think you'd even have to pay me. I, I would probably just do that for free. Or all of your comments could just be "I love you." That that definitely could be. That it. probably is what it's. Gonna I'm be pretty about. sure they're not gonna do that. <laughs> no, surely, surely the comment section of the Magic: The Gathering series is more mature than to make a base joke about things that we talked about in the episode. I mean, come on now. They wouldn't do something like that. You're probably right. Bye, everybody. Oh. Bye. <laughs> I love you. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools. I love you. <laughs>